Hello there, my name is Paulina and I am an MST marketing specialist. Today I'm going to talk about attracting cheap traffic to your product page through sales channels like Google Shopping, Facebook, Amazon and others. So say you want to sell on Google, then you need to create a product feed. The problem is no means all feed are accepted by Google from the first try and correcting all the mistakes takes time and effort. In this video guide, I'm going to show you how to get your feed accepted by Google with our Magento to product feed extension. Let's see how it works. Given you have installed and enabled the extension, navigate to Catalog, Feed, Profiles and click the Setup Google Feed button. For your convenience, each step of the configuration has a separate tab. First off, in the General Settings tab, fill in the future field name, file name and status. Choose the needed store view and specify price currency. Optionally, you can exclude disabled, out of stock and not visible products for not bringing traffic to purposeless page. In the second step, choose the categories that you don't want to include as the final product feed from the category tree. By doing so, you can create highly targeted feeds for your marketing needs. In step 3, rename your categories according to the Google taxonomy. Keep your eye on setting, make sure all of your categories have the right names. Otherwise, you will have to return to the step after being rejected by Google. And this is exactly what we want to avoid with the guide. This is the basic product information. Set what product attributes should be displayed in what fields. Say for the price field, you can choose to set the total price or the price without taxes. The optional product information tab has the same logic and includes the additional attributes for your product, like size, color, brand. Let's move on to the schedule setting. Here you can choose between two options, either you want to update the feed manually or automatically. For auto-updates, specify the weekdays and time when the system should update the feed. Finally, we are moving on to the Upload to Google Server tab to configure the auto-uploading of the generated file right to the Google servers. For this, we need to log in to the Google Merchant account and create a new product feed. There, you should fill in the basic info. Then, choose the upload as an input method and enter the same file name as you gave it at the first step. Save the changes and switch to the settings SFTP, FTP, JCS. There, click the Generate button and get the data for the host, user, password and pass fields. When you are all set, click the Save and Start Generation. The system will do the rest. In the end, we want to stress one more time that you need to configure all the settings carefully and ensure they are meeting Google requirements. If Google Merchant Center rejects your feed, check the link in the description below. There you will find solutions of the most common issues, like invalid or missing attributes, XML formatting error, unknown Google product category. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.